Once upon a dense time, there was this totally peng blonde chick called Goldilocks. She was nosy, right? So swagger to the forest where she found this sick crib. The joint was bare vacant. She walked right in. <clears throat> the manor was decked out real nice. Proper flat screens, fancy coffee makers and all that swag. You know, the gling gling. On the table, there were three dense bowls of porridge. Goldilocks was like, bare famished fam. Hunger paid, isn't it? So she went for the taste. First bowl, leave it, not too dense, too hot. Second bowl was a bit mm, too cold. Third bowl, totally dense, just right. So she gobbled it all up and got rid of the munchies, in it? Leave it. What she didn't know was the porridge belonged to three bear bears. She was playing with fire, cuz. Next up, she's feeding all lazy. Wants to find somewhere to chillax, Janana Gleng. Before you know it, slam! Her boot is on the chair. Guess what? Too big. So, she goes to the next one. You know it already. Too small. Last chair. Dench! But then, she broke it. Leave it. Careless. That Goldilocks was feeling bare snoozy, so went up for some bed. First bed, dench, but too big. Second bed, dench, but too small. Third bed, proper dench. Just right. Leave it. As she went up for a snooze, these dench bears came home. Papa Bear was like, Doo doo's nah, someone's been eating my porridge. And the baby bear kicked right off saying, Leave it, yeah? Someone's been sitting in my chair and it's broken. Those dench bears trod up the stairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Papa Bear and Mama Bear. But Baby Bear lost his shizzle and saw Goldilocks keeping in his bed. That blonde hair fitty with the Goldilocks woke up and saw the three dench bears and screamed, Ah! Then she ran out of the crib and never returned. And they all lived dentially ever after.